what's up? JJ here again and this time around I've taken out the old western to teach you a guitar lesson. It's a song called Heart of Gold by Neil Young and I generally like to teach this song to beginning students. Why? Because it only involves a handful of open chords and once the student is able to change between these chords it's always a cool idea to teach them a real song that they can play along to or that people can sing along to. Uh, and it also helps if it's a song that sounds familiar to a lot of people. And this song, Heart of Gold, is a real classic. Neil Young is always a good starting point for beginning guitar players because uh, his songs are not very difficult to play and they sound just as good on the acoustic or on an electric guitar with lots of reverb bashing out chords. So without further ado, let's get started with this classic by the godfather of grunge. Neil Young is a famous singer-songwriter, also plays acoustic and electric guitar. He has had a very long uh, solo career, uh, but he also played with Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. A couple of famous songs are Old Man, a beautiful acoustic guitar song. Also Needle and the Damage Done is a, a famous Neil Young ballad. Beautiful uh, flat-picked acoustic guitar song, but he also has some really cool rock songs like Cinnamon Girl and Keep On Rocking in the Free World. In the 1990s he recorded that song, Keep On Rocking in the Free World, with Pearl Jam and uh, after that he was often referred to as the godfather of grunge. Now Heart of Gold basically consists of three different guitar parts, the first of which is the intro which is being repeated after every chorus. For this part you need two different chords, E minor 7th and D, and E minor 7th is played like this in Heart of Gold. <laughs> Let me walk you through. That's open E, second on the A string, open D, open G, and then third on the B string, like this. Now it's okay if you let the high E string ring out. That's no problem. D is played like this. That's open D, second on the G string, and again third on the B string. And here's the rhythm. Okay, now make sure when you're playing the D chord that you mute, it, mute out the low E string and the A string. And I do that by using my thumb, but you can use, you know, any other finger that's left on your left hand. Okay? Now, at the end of this intro um, progression, there's uh, this little lick. So that's open A, hammer on to the uh, second on the A string, and then open D, back to second on the A string, and B notes. have a look at the verse. For the verse we need four different chords, a regular E minor, a regular C, a normal D chord, and a regular G chord. Now I like to play the G chord in a slightly different way. I like to fret the uh, third fret on the B string with my uh, ring finger. So did you get this? I think as opposed to this G chord, it's a nicer sounding G. Here's the chord progression, slowly. As you heard, when I played the progression three times, I moved back to the intro structure, and that is to link this verse to the next verse. The second verse is exactly the same as the first verse, only the way that you go into the chorus is slightly different. You don't play the intro progression, but 
you just go into the chorus straight away after playing the progression three times. So here are the chords for the chorus, which are just E minor, G, and C. And then there's this little run taking you back to G. If you're an absolute beginner, you don't really have to play the run. But if you're a little more of an advanced player, it's nice to play the, the little run. I just go... You know, that's three on the A string, two on the A string, open A and then back to G. I'll play the second verse and then I'll play the entire chorus up to speed. Okay, the song ends like this. Basically the intro is being repeated and then there's this harmonica solo and then after three times playing that part it goes into the chorus line and that's where the song ends. I'll just play you through. Okay, last up is a little technique focus, and this is about the right hand. Neil Young has a very cool uh, flat picking technique, and he uses that in a lot of his songs. If you listen to Neil and the Damage Done, that's a great flat picking acoustic tune, which I may be covering in another video. Uh, in Heart of Gold, he basically blocks the bass note of each chord, like this, E minor, and then he strums the rest of the chord. Same thing for C or G. So here's the verse again. Alright, that's it. I hope you liked this little beginner guitar lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and never miss a video again. See you next time. JJ out.